Hi, this is Karen McKee. In this series of tutorials, I am covering how to use the iMovie app for the iPad to create science videos. This is part five. In this segment, I'm going to show you how to import and shoot video with your iPad for your iMovie project. Okay, I'm going to talk a bit about importing video to iMovie. This is video that you've shot with a camcorder or a digital camera. Um, it, this is a bit tricky because the iMovie app for the iPad is designed to record video uh, directly with your iPad that goes straight into the iMovie app on your iPad. But like uh, many people, uh, I have many other uh, video clips that I've recorded with other devices and I want to be able to use those in my uh, iPad iMovie app. So uh, this is going to be a fairly quick explanation of how how to do this. First of all, to import and use in iMovie, the file must be in a dot MOV format. What you will be capturing with a camcorder, for example, the file extension is going to be something like .mp4 or .avi, but for the iMovie app it's going to have to be .mov. So the first thing you're going to have to do is to convert your video footage, the file, to a .mov format. There are probably some apps out there that will do this conversion for you, but if you already have a Mac computer and the full version of iMovie, you can convert any clip <coughs> that you have loaded into uh, the iMovie you can export it as a .mov file. And this is a clip, for example, that I have right here that um, you can play. That I'm going to export. And so what you do is uh, go to Share, and we're going to export using QuickTime. And we want to export movie to QuickTime movie. And let's take a quick look at the options. You want to make sure the settings are as I've got them here. Uh, the compression is H.264, the frame rate of 30, and bit rate of 10,000, and uh, the various other things should be about the same. The sound, the format is AAC, and the sample rate is 44.1 kilohertz with the mono channel selected. And so you click OK, and you'll notice that the file extension is already .mov, and I'm going to export that to uh, this, this folder. Okay, so that has been exported, and let's check, and here is the Fiddler Crab file with the .mov extension. So next I am going to open up iPhoto and I'm going to import that video clip. Next I'm going to open up iTunes and okay so uh, now that you have 
iTunes open, you want to select Devices, and this will uh, open up your uh, iPad. And you're going to want to sync photos from iPhoto. And you make sure that the photo button is selected. And the other thing you want to be absolutely sure of is that you've got include videos checked. By default, it will not be checked. So then you want to uh, make sure that the folder that contains the clip that you want to sync it, uh, and upload to iPad is checked. And then you just click uh, Sync and your files will then be on your computer will be synced with your iPad. And then when if I've done everything correctly, when I go to my iPad, that movie clip will appear in iMovie. So now if everything worked correctly, I should see my clip. And there it is right here at the top. And I can drop that into my timeline and I can uh, play that I can play that clip. Okay, so that is the best workaround, uh, the fastest and easiest that I know to get footage that you've shot with another device, such as a camcorder, uploaded to your iPad to work in the iMovie app for the iPad. There may be some other workarounds, but this is the easiest one for me to use with uh, my devices. If you uh, don't have a Mac, then you're going to have to use only the footage that you shoot directly with your iPad in, uh, in your iMovie projects. And that's going to be the next part of this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to shoot video with your iPad and put those uh, video clips into uh, into your projects. Now that you have some idea of the basics and how to navigate iMovie, I'm going to show you how to shoot video with your iPad. This is what the iMovie app was designed to use, footage that is shot with the iPad. The first thing you want to do is to make sure that your playhead is positioned exactly where you want the new footage to go. Next, you want to look over to the right hand side here where the icon for the camera is located and click on it. And this opens up the camera lens on your iPad and you can scan around and select what you would like to record. Notice that in the lower right hand corner you can toggle back and forth between the still camera and the video camera. So if you want to shoot video be sure you've got the video camera selected. And then when you're ready to record you click the record button and it will start flashing when you are recording video. And then Tap it again when you're ready to stop. So now you can see that that clip that I just recorded has been dropped into my timeline. And uh, we, can, we can play that clip. We can also modify that clip just as we've done previously. We can change the volume or mute the clip uh, or we can change the title uh, or add, an, add a title to it if we, if we wish.
We can trim the clip as we did before. Uh, we can we can compress it and move it to another position. All of the same things that we did before with the imported clips. You may use your iPad to shoot videos of yourself in various settings or videos of colleagues in an office, in a lab, or some other location. You may also shoot video in different situations uh, from a car, a plane, a boat, well maybe not a boat, but for water scenes and sounds, perhaps an aquarium or a garden. The point is to be creative and use your iPad to document your science. And that's about it for part five. Stay tuned for part six in which I tie up some loose ends showing how to do freeze frames, rotate images, add or change transitions, and how to name or rename your project. Thank you.